found like a motherfucker carrying eight hepatitis around. Hepatitis or something. Supposed to speak to a motherfucker to speak to. shall perish. That pretty much just describes all the people in America. They got no righteousness in them. There's no truth in them. You know what I'm saying? There's no truth in this land. It's not every day you see one of them. Oh, uh, Lamborghini? That was pretty cool. It's gonna be destroyed, though, so fuck your Lamborghini. You know what I'm saying? Again, read that part again for this crowd of people walking by. Four and 37. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Oh, uh, you know, king, that's the president of America. He's wicked. Keep going. Yeah. Women are wicked. Hey, you know, women are wicked. Look at these women in America. They definitely uh, wicked. No denying it, huh? These women are totally out of order. Hey, I'm a witch. She I said she was a witch. She, she admitted she was a witch. See? I didn't make her say that, you know what I'm saying? We weren't even talking directly to her. But she testified, said she was a witch. Well, she didn't testify. She, uh, women can't testify. What am I talking she about? She just She said stated this shit. that she was a witch. All the children of men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works. Look at all kind of wicked works, man. Look at this wicked ass heathen filled country, man. People walk around eating pork, women are adulterous, women having sex with a thousand men, none of the children know who their fathers are. You got uh, fluoride in the water. And Harvard University came out with a study that said fluoride causes brain damage. But well, we got fluoride in the water. Yeah, this place is evil, man. Look at that part again, man. I think they might want to hear that. Wine is wicked. Wine is just not a tune, just wine. It's stupid beer, philosophies. There you go. Get drunk on some wicked philosophies, like Americanism. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women oh, yeah. Are wicked. That's somebody king, Barack Obama. Y'all know Barack Obama is wicked and evil. You know that? Oh, I heard. You know, he's a devil. He's a homosexual. Really? That ain't. Oh yeah, yeah. He's an open homosexual. Yeah, he's like, he's really hot. Really? Hey, he talk, he Where, where's the video? You know, I'm familiar with all. Uh, you ever heard of Larry Sinclair? Yeah. Larry Sinclair. Just look at on YouTube and name Larry Sinclair in the phone. Okay. Yeah, everything else will pop up. You know what I mean? I mean he well, said, hell, hell, just do a Google search. Dude. He yeah, said he's, he said he supports gay marriage. So that's only something a homosexual would say. Oh, okay. Plus, he actually is a homosexual. This actual witness he smokes crack too. Yeah, they, they just actually witnesses to say they seen, they smoke crack food and perform oral sex on it. And he said he performed oral sex on them. He said this? Of course Obama didn't admit it in the public, but there are many witnesses that know him from Chicago. 
Indefinitely in prison with no trial, no lawyer. Any American, so you know, all American citizens have no rights. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not a citizen. You're a, you're a, uh, you know what I'm looking for? You're a privileged detainee. Nah, <laughs> uh, cattle. No, 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 it's cattle. You know what I'm saying? Product. Because everybody yeah. thinks George, did you, did you like George Bush? Uh, not really. Okay, yeah, but they try to say he's the bad guy. But Obama's <coughs> 5,000 times worse than Bush ever. Okay. They're, all, they're all puppets anyway. He's making Bush look silly at his job. Bush yeah. should have did a better job, but he's making him look silly. Yeah, That's the whole point is to be, you know, the past, these, uh, these laws, these creases are going to take your rights away. Bush should do enough of that. Yeah, Bush? But he said that you said the word. I just get back to the scripture. The scripture is explaining. Scripture. The scripture explains a lot better. Do y'all believe in the Bible? I believe. That is the book. I'm talking about is it the truth? Have you ever do you, are you have you ever studied the Bible? Yeah. Study it, no. Because you have to study something to understand it. You know what I'm saying? You just can't. Watch a Bible cartoon, or watch a Bible TV, or something, or watch a documentary on the History Channel and expect to understand what the Bible is all about. You know what I, mean? I agree. So, do you believe in the one they call Christ? I believe he was a guy that existed. Do you believe he was the Son of God? No. Why not? Uh. Don't believe in a higher power. Whoa, I got oh, you don't, you don't believe there's a spirit. A, oh, go you don't believe in. A, you don't think there's a god? Uh, more than likely, no. There's not a creator. More than likely. So how did you get here? You just uh, just appeared magically appeared. Uh, no. You don't. You don't know. Do you know? How you got here? Well, you probably believe in just something. What you call it? evolution? Believe in evolution? Ah, uh, well, before that. You have to go all the way back to the event of the Big Bang in the universe. So what was, what was before the Big Bang? It's a very good question. And uh, I'll hope to have an answer for you sometime in the future. Well, what is the Big Bang? Can you explain that? What exactly is that all about? Well, I'm not a physics or astronomy major, so I cannot tell you that. Yeah, I can tell you. Look, I got a scripture for you. So I'm 14. I mean, when you say Speak when you say something like that. Yeah, that's something that's the fool has said in his heart. Read that. There is no God. He said the fool has said there is no God. If you saying there's not a God, you obviously out of tune with the universe. Okay, there's something not right with you. That's not I haven't Read heard since middle school, so that's no big deal. <laughs> they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. So you're, you're probably, are you a homosexual? So the Bible says that you're kind of on the fence. Because you know almost all atheists and agnostics have ever met. Or you straight up, like, straight like, curious? The Bible says if you don't believe in God, you do abominable works. 
So that's why you do them Obama's work. You know what I'm saying? Because you. Uh, well, how does that compensate for gay Christians? But there's no such thing as a gay Christian. Well, the, I mean, gay means happy. Okay. Gay means homosexual happy. Christians. There's, there's no. There's, there's, you're not allowed to be a homosexual. That's just the laws of the Bible. So the two words in compatible. Well, can't they're use them still the there. I mean, Where? Then that means they're not doing the. Get John 14. The Bible says you're supposed to follow the laws of the Bible. So do you, are you an anarchist? So no. We're not anarchists. We believe in uh, laws. No, law no, and I'm, order. I'm not an anarchist. No. 614. Yeah, you know being a homosexual is unsanitary? It's a threat to public safety and public health? Uh, you ever you know a microbiology? It's a medical fact. Yeah, it's a medical fact. You ever study microbiology? Not yet. So it's, it's not safe to play doopy, man. You don't get sick. You can drop that from that. You do know straight people have anal sex too. But that's, right? that's, that's that's disgusting. Say it again. Straight people have anal sex. They always. That's what they always. Yeah, about. right, right. They're also sodomite. That's also considered sodomite. Uh oh, okay. that's also a sin. Uh, yeah. It's a law not to stick nothing up no one's ass. But that's a woman, no matter how much she wants it. You're not <laughs> supposed to stick nothing up her ass. Yeah, that's super common sense. Because it's man. unhealthy. It's, you know, it causes right, well, the disease. Check that off your to-do list. <laughs> oh. YouTube, buddy. Well, I know, but yeah, a lot of people, they walk around fucking shit, beads in their ass, walking around. What are your pants made out of? Huh? What are your pants made out of? Why does it matter? You're not allowed to wear fabrics that are made from two different kinds You're of right. That's right. right. But this, we didn't make this society or build this society up. You can buy pure cotton clothes. You can? Show me where. The store. Because when you go buy it, the stitch in itself is another fabric. But you can make your own clothes. Make your own if you clothes. you really... Well, if I had the time, I'd definitely do that. You have time to do that. So I had a good woman. Hey. Like, you, had a you, know what, you know what? The, 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 the woman is supposed to make your clothes. The same level the, 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 the Bible, Oh, women the, are supposed to make well, Women are supposed to make your clothes. Oh. No, the oh. Bible... The, hold up. The Bible also says... But there says, are no women around. But hold up. The Bible also says... I don't know. Maybe that's... because. Listen. The Bible also says you're supposed to put a homosexual to death. Does that mean we're actually going to do that? Or does that, does that mean we're going to teach them to do it? It also says women have to keep their mouth shut on church. Yeah, well, it, it, yeah, it does say women got to yeah, keep their mouth shut on church. Fuck that shit. Exactly. So, <laughs> so, so you're being a hypocrite. You know what I mean? I'm not the one who's following those rules. You're being a hypocrite. Really? I guess. Give me a... I just want to read this thing about homosexuality. Because you don't, you don't get saved by keeping the laws anyway. You get saved by your faith. You confess in the name of the Lord. Y'all, you don't even know the name of the Lord. Jesus. Well, so, see, Jesus, that's not the Lord's name. See, Jesus, Jesus is not Lord? No, nah, the Lord the, the Lord is an uh, Israelite. He comes from Israel. He spoke Hebrew. Jesus, that's a Greek word. Straight. That's not even Greek. That's a, it's a uh -huh. English Greek hybrid. There you go. It's not even. I don't think Greek has a Greek So, So if you ain't confessing the name of the Lord, you ain't, you're gonna be going to look through it. Yeah, what is it? Proverbs 13 and 13. Uh, it's a series of images that I think were I don't like made at, uh, I don't know, made in Photoshop. And then I was just reading the different things. Yeah, so you think the Bible's a joke too, huh? Uh -huh. It's, a big, it's a big fairy tale. Give me a Proverbs 13. Actually, give me a better yet, Mark 16 and 16. Did y'all never even study the Bible before? Did you, know, you believe? Huh? So you know what a UFO is? You ever seen a UFO before? I have I've seen not all. seen the UFO. So do you believe in their existence? No. So, oh, so, you, so you just discount all kinds of proof and documented facts and reliable witnesses. Do you know the president, Jimmy Carter? The definition of UFO is Okay, you know Jimmy Carter's seen a UFO, right? Well, UFO means that, that's a popular term. It, we're, you know we're talking about spaceship. That, that term has been popularized. You know when I say UFO, I'm talking about a spaceship, okay? So it's not be an asshole, because you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you dick with your language. I just yeah. said it means unidentified. So anyway... Stop uh, throwing your $2 dollars Okay, spaceships around. do exist, and they're coming back to I mean, blast all... we've made spaceships, so... The, did the Lord... Do hey, pipe down, vagina. <laughs> the Lord... Sorry, sorry. How do, you think, how do you think the one you call Jesus left the Earth? How did he leave the Earth? Uh, well, he died okay. and, uh, the Bible said he got beamed up. He got beamed up into the sky, and there was many witnesses. There was many witnesses to see that happen. 
So that means it really is really true. But if you go to court and you, man, uh, they was accusing you of killing someone and they had like five witnesses that seen you kill someone, you're gonna get convicted. You're gonna go to jail. So when the Lord was on the same- If people are on LSD, then you're probably not gonna- But everybody was not on LSD. LSD was just invented uh, this century or the past century. They didn't have LSD back in time of Christ. That, that other form of it. Well, I'm sure they had, they had, I'm sure they had that's, the, that's beside the point. There were many witnesses, even women, old women, so old women was high on acid, right? There was many witnesses to see the Lord ascend up into the air, okay? They seen it. There was many witnesses to see him come back from the dead. There's witnesses. That's you have four gospels from four different sources. That's why you got the and books what, like half a century after that. They uh, didn't see it. When was they? When was, when was they written? Hmm? Nothing say, in the Bible is written about. any more than a century okay. or two after. No, the you're wrong. You're wrong. What's the early? What's the earliest? What's the, okay. What's the earliest written book in the New Testament? According exactly. according to the schools. I don't know According exactly. To the, it's a couple but you don't know exactly. I just don't know exactly. Because, because you, you because you're, that's because you're ignorant. You don't know. What does the word ignorant mean? It means you don't know. Okay. So you are ignorant. The mo the earliest written book, according to scholars in this school, is First Thessalonians, and they say it was written at approximately 51 AD. That's still 50 no, you said it was a century after, after his death. Well, he was, that's still so you're way off. Like you're off by like 100 years. You're off by like 75 he years. He was like, what, like 35, 36? 33. So you, you're way off. You can so way off. 50, you don't know what you're talking about. You're uneducated. You're so we were talking the four Gospels here. Well, it, okay, there's four Gospels. Okay, that's four different First, witnesses. A witness, right. witness, witness testimony is the least credible source. How is that? When you have evidence. four documents that agree with each other, not don't just agree one, with each other. not they just two. They contradict each other not, all over the place. No, they don't. How do they? Where, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it Luke doesn't even have the virgin birth. Yeah. There is no virgin birth. There's no virgin birth nowhere. In the There's Bible. no virgin birth in the yeah. Bible. Mary. I don't know what Bible well, you're reading. They say Women, it's you impossible. It depends on the translation, but it's so you, have young, you seen it's a young girl or virgin birth? It's a young woman. He has it. Hey, get, read a uh, read Matthew one one. So where are they used for her? He has a genealogy right there, in Matthew. I mean, I so we're, so we're, so in order to have a genealogy, that means that seed has to be planted inside that woman. See, you know why you don't believe in the Bible? Y'all been talking bullshit. Though. I was talking the Bible. You talk, talking bullshit though. You never talking the truth. Give me that Matthew one and one. Matthew one and one. The book of the generations of Yahweh Shai. The son of David, the son of Abraham. He said he's the son of David. So, if he was born a virgin, how can he possibly be descended of Abraham and descended from David? How can he be born of a virgin? It's impossible. There's right. no virgin birth. Right. Right. Just like there's no such thing as hell. That's not in the Bible. I got nothing to worry about. Uh, well, it all depends. I mean, there's such thing as slavery. I mean, we, it, it's a slavery exists. Uh, subjugation. That's a form of I was hell. looking at what state court is. <laughs> well, the description hell is the dirt, so. The description, you say Esau is going to be a base man. He's going to eat the dust of the earth. Oh, yeah. You said there's no such thing as hell? Right. It's not, not, not in a mythological sense, no. It's dying. Somewhere that's just. just, just your, your spirit doesn't go to a place. Your spirit goes back where it belongs. So the, the description. Your spirit goes back to heaven? Everybody. Of, How exactly. is everyone born? Everyone's born the same so, way. Wait, so like regardless of belief or whatever actions you've done. That's right. It goes to the spirit world, not heaven. The That's what the Bible world. says. That gives me zero motivation. Yeah. Why is that? It doesn't have to say you can't become anything. Read this one. This is the teaching after the storm of seven. You either is or you ain't. Then shall the dust return to that the earth. Ain't. <laughs> Listen, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, so when you and the spirit... Oh, go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. Yeah, when your body dies, it obviously decomposes back into the earth. Keep going. And the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. So the spirit returns to the Father. All men are born the same way, we all die the same way. But there's a difference, though. Uh, yes. Heaven and hell, we're talking about heaven and hell. That's good. It's all conditions of life. 
know, for these people is him. Is it in here? For these people, it's going to be hell when we establish the kingdom. But right now, we're serving our prison cities. So it's hell for these people. So heaven and hell is all conditions of life. That's a scare tactic you tell these fools, you know, obey, listen, or you're going to hell. You know? I got a good example of hell. Give me a. I give, I, give, I give you an example of hell. <laughs> Y'all ever heard of nuclear thermonuclear missiles? Yeah. So, you, you, so what, what, what is a thermonuclear missile? Uh, total destruction of so the country. Who has learned. the most missiles upon the face of the earth? Uh, we do. That's, no, Russia has the most Russia. Russia does? Russia. So do you know the American... The U.S. is second. You know anything about that? The U.S. just performed more tests, more polluting the air, the ground, you know. So that, you're about to see, there's about to be a thermonuclear war. Don't you know we're on the brink of a thermonuclear war? We're that's, at the beginning stage of the war, war three right now, as we speak. That's I, why you see the American economic system collapsing. Did not you, just America, was, but the world. That must be a long first stage, though, because people have been saying that's the state. Okay, did you, what do you think they're going to do with those missiles? Yeah, probably. Are they just going to put all the missiles in a museum and never use them? What did, why did they build the missiles in the first place? They're going to use the missiles. Give me that. Working on trying to right. yeah, they're working on trying to They're actually trying to figure out a way to, uh, what was I say, like, deactivate. Yeah, deactivate it. This is good. We're never going to So y'all love America. You great Americans. Or y'all probably Marxist anyway, ain't you? You have you a bunch of left-wing lunatics. I don't think I call myself a Marxist, but. Left-wingers. Liberal. A liberal, oh, too proud of it. I can tell you, liberal. Whatever they oh, are in Norway. Hey, it's obvious. Look at you. Oh, you really? That, you, yeah, you just look like a cookie cutter liberal. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's like you just rolls look right off the production line. Look Give me that. Eyes. Shut up, vagina. Zechariah 14 and 12. Listen, <laughs> and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And when you say there's no God, you fighting against Jerusalem. That's the Lord's holy people. And that's the that's the words that you fight against the truth. Check this out. You can't fight against the truth. Their I, flesh. I'm glad I'm doing so much without doing so little. Hey, listen. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's how it's gonna be when you get hit by those missiles. You guys want a mint? You've ever seen the movie? Um, what's that? I got Terminator. I got a good mint. Dude. You ever seen Terminator? The scene for Terminator with Sarah Connor's holding the fence. Terminator Sarah 2. Yeah. That's the second one, correct. Yeah. The dream to sit to Sarah Connor. That's dream. an example of the scripture. So, right so that's how y'all gonna be. You remember when Sarah Connor was on the fence? So if you ain't right with the most high, if you ain't an Israelite, the Lord's gonna hit you with that that fury, that fiery flame. Well it'll be quick and then I'll go to heaven. Oh, yeah, it's be quick. You guys want a mint? No, no thanks. Yeah, but you'll you, you come back reincarnated in this. You don't want no mint? Uh I'll worry about that. You want a mint? Uh, what time is that? That was cool. You know that probably had that probably has gelatin in it, don't it? Check this out. This is 2 Peter 3 and 10. I got, I got it from a place. <laughs> 23 and 7. Just the throat lozenge, that's all it is. <laughs> See, I'm, it's probably, yeah. I didn't like spice it with anything. That's a new one. I don't know. Yeah, I know. You look like you might go paint a picture or something. You okay? I look I'm like a painted picture? Man. Uh, do I look like like a Jackson Pollock painting? I've been told that. You, you, you're right. You, you can, like be an you, artist. Do you do like do poetry to open mic? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man. What are your students here? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Psychology. Psychology. Oh man. Art. That's why he's all messed Straight up. up. You, your major is art. Yeah. So what do you plan on doing? Work in a school? Do an education system? Probably. Rule. Well, I bet I can draw better than you too. I'm not, I'm not an illustrator, I'm a photographer. That's not art. That's not art. Anybody can point a camera. Everybody's <laughs> getting offended. Okay? Yeah, everybody's a photographer. Well, no, what do you say? I'm going to burn in hell and I'm not allowed to talk all day. Don't, don't be a strong woman. 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 Don't be a strong woman.
Oh no, she's a she's a boy. You got husbands. Though. You got husbands though. Well, not husbands? A you're not a virgin. Husbands? Husbands, you're not a virgin. I'm not married. You're, a you're not a virgin. She's a liberal. She doesn't you're not a virgin. That's marriage. Sex is marriage. So how many husbands do you have? Oh, man. That's marriage. That's the So you're committing adultery. Yeah, so right yeah. We have a. Well, this is. <laughs> man, I don't, I don't know who wants to be the daughter here, but. Uh. Check this out, y'all. Check this out. This is bad. This is Second Peter three and seven. Hey, Daddy. Check. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Bro, yeah, you gotta be serious. If y'all ain't right. Well, first of all, it's funny to y'all right now. Yeah, it is funny. But I mean, imagine, imagine the when you look at videos of uh, what's going on in Afghanistan, what's going on in Libya, the, uh, what's going on in Iraq. Well, the embassies have just got stolen. the embassies. Now imagine that here. See, that's what's coming here. That's what's coming here. You don't see it happening. We it's see race right, but you don't oh, see it because everyone's walking around having a good ass time. So what you gonna do when you got a bunch of angry black guys running here? at you? Like, get the white girl. Get the white girl. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Snatching them up. Snatching them up. Uh, y'all gonna be like money. When this shit happens, y'all gonna be like money. Oh, oh, she, she likes that idea. Valuable. She she likes like, you think you're gonna be valuable? I'm gonna share her. I will find out about Not, that. No, I don't think I'm so. I'm gonna get more voluptuous, <laughs> delicious looking women. Maybe even a young chick. Like that one right there. You don't see that with that. That's the best value right there. That's some change. Yeah, you're right. Whatever. Me. My case is even better. All right, guys. I'm we're getting offended take, uh, again, man. Well, you know, hey, I don't like him unless his thighs are rubbing. That's good to get offended. Take it easy, guys. You should be offended. Y'all offend us. I stand on the good men. They're good. That's all right. Thanks anyway. We probably got acid in it. Trying to take us out. <laughs> you sure you don't want a mint? We can go run him down and get it. You know, they got something in their, that's gonna stick in their mind now. Cause when they see shit coming, they don't know why. They just look her up. Oh, cool. That's funny. <laughs> she matching her cover. That's funny as fuck. She said, you know, she matching. Oh man, look at these clowns. Y'all walking by scared, man. You scared? You remember us? Yeah. What's up, man? Freshman. <laughs> Y'all wait for them. Them. You better watch out for them missiles. New, it goes, uh, what, Casey Jones? <laughs> yeah, Casey Jones. Down with Leonardo and them. <laughs> <laughs> These people mess your spirit up out here, man. This is a fucking comedy skit. <laughs> they fucking did a good job. I think everything's going to continue to be alright, you know. This all thinks his house is going to live forever. That's their thoughts, man. They got that thought nailed into their heads, man. It's nailed, tattooed, you know. So it's gonna take destruction to get it up out there, motherfucker. I got it. I got it. That's all. It's gonna take destruction for it. They gonna get it. I got a scripture for, the, uh, for all the beautiful people out here. <laughs> Mark 16 and 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. <laughs> But he that believeth not shall be damned. Damn, damn. I wanted to bring that scripture out on that uh, that guy that was out before, here. Before. Yeah. Yeah, because people, man, they don't believe in the Bible. First of all, they thought there was a virgin birth in the Bible. Yeah, your boy wouldn't agree with you. So, so, man, so people, when they, the reason they don't believe in the Bible is because they've been taught nothing but lies on it. Now, they've never been taught the truth. They've never actually opened it up and actually read it. They actually read it for themselves. They just, you know, watch some Bible TV. They might have watched a History Channel docu documentary. You know, the History Channel documentaries try to say Jesus was a homosexual and all kind of shit. I've heard that plenty of times. There's no proof of none of that. Of proof that he wasn't. You know, no proof that he wasn't. Hey, yeah, because you got History Channel scholars out here. You got people they actually think they History Channel. I mean, excuse me, they actually take their scholars because they watch the History Channel. It's amazing, man. They act like they got a PhD because they watch the cable TV. You know what I'm saying? Like they got some kind of amazing information on cable TV. Like, and they, and they motherfuckers see something on TV and they act like they's the only one that's seen it. Like, y'all don't know about this shit. They got the, they got, oh, you got canine units now? Units now? Oh, dude. Look, this is just real bar. Hey, oh, they just came by too. Wow. Them little kids got all them drugs. They cracking down on these. There's some curses coming on them, man. 
these dope heads here, man. Them Edomites on another nation. Hey, we read this. Having their coke parties. This book, bro. John 6 and 35. I didn't even plan, I just seen it, it sounded pretty good. First John? No, yeah, no. Saint the John. book is, yeah, St. John. Yeah. 6 and 35. 6 and 35. Yeah. St. John 6 and 35. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. That's why these people all messed up out here. They don't know shit. They don't walk around with Jews. But they don't have the truth. This is the truth. This is going to keep you sustained right here. That's right. Where like Isaiah, what's that? Isaiah, it says wisdom, was that 33 and 6? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. time. Just hold it anyway. Yeah. So it's like we passing out free meals right here. This is a free meal. That's right. Like a hot meal. This is like a steak. Yeah. <laughs> you know. This is better than your grandma's soul food. That should give you a heart attack. Right. Spiritual milk. But it's a steak, you know? Ain't no pork in this meal. That's right, that's right. But ain't no swine on this dish. Ain't, yeah. ain't that right, right? I hate to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> but I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not, and that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. That's what, yeah, so we're gonna do just like the Lord did. We're not gonna do what we wanna do. We're gonna follow the direction. We're gonna do what we're told. We're gonna be obedient to the Lord until death. That's right. That's the only way he requires. Yeah, that's all you gotta do is teach the word. You know what I'm saying? Put your faith in the most high and teach the word. And this, and this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which he had given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. Yes, yeah, so the Lord, he said he ain't gonna lose one sheep. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. So if you believe on, yeah, if you believe on your house child, you get everlasting life. You know what I mean? And everlasting life is his truth. You ain't got that, you ain't got shit. So if, so if you don't believe on the son, you have everlasting death, pretty much. And I will raise him up at the last day. We're in the last days now, but that's, that, what that scripture is referring to is that day of that day of visitation. You know, we'll see a lot of angels coming out of the sky. They might be a lot of your old relatives. You might see them coming out of the sky with the angels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming down destroying shit, blowing shit up. I got a. Uh, this is uh, you James. Gonna, yeah, you're gonna smile when you see him. You know what I mean? Right. James three and fifteen. This wisdom. Descended not from above. Oh, I'm sorry, that's going to come back. Oh, yeah, we're talking about things with their precepts. But that's how I want. I ain't going to go there. Let me go back to this one. All right, let's do it. Good. You look fresh. You look fresh. I'll go there with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going back to the same drum. The Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. Yeah, they weren't trying to hear that, you know what I mean? They knew he was the son of God, really, too. They was yep, wicked. They're, they're, they're wicked. They was wicked as hell. They want to be the king of the hill. Yeah, they wanted to be the king. They was all fighting for power. That's right. That's how niggas are, man. You know? And he would have fucked up their money, you know what I mean? Because a lot, yeah, because the Lord, he was messing up their money. Because them scribes and Pharisees is wicked, man. They was robbing people, taking their money. Mm -hmm. That's when he went by that motherfucking church and made that whip. He went in there with the with they yeah, turned over the money changers table. Mm -hmm. So that's why people don't like righteous people is you fucking with their money. That's why like if we go to one of these churches, the preacher, if we try to go to a church and debate the pastor, they're gonna kick us out. Because in, in the eyes of the preacher, we're fucking with his money. You know what I mean? Yeah. We can't embarrass him. That's why these preachers won't debate us. They, they don't want to get embarrassed in their congregation. It's gonna fuck up their money. That's right. Right. It's all right though, because the Lord said He's gonna start in the sanctuary and start cleaning. Yeah, cause oh yeah, cause we got the real riches anyway. That's what these fools don't even. That's what they fail to see. Yeah. They worried about the earthly riches. 
that when you die, they, they ain't doing shit for you. No. Yehoshai therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. Murmur. They were always talking shit. You know how I did, bro. That motherfucker. Let's just get him, man. Call your boys, yo, man. No man can come to me except the Father which has sent me draw him. Oh, see that? So that means. That means that everything's predestined. You either, you either chosen or you ain't chosen. <laughs> you either chosen for the kingdom or chosen for slavery. <laughs> and I will raise him up at the last day. For that last day. We end up, yeah, we get real close to that last day. That last day. That last day. We get real close to that thermonuclear war. Mm -hmm. That's coming. Mm -hmm. That thermonuclear war. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all taught of the Most High. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hadn't heard learned of the Father cometh unto me. I say, because you can't learn about the Father unless you go to the Son. But people are talking about why. Well, why can't? I thought you said there's only one God. How come you got to worship Christ? <laughs> but people are so stupid, they don't stupid understand. Stuff. There's order. <laughs> there's order. He's the only one that even knows about the Father. <laughs> yeah, so the, the Lord sent His Son to teach us. So the Lord, God ain't gonna come down and talk to us. He sent His Son to teach us. John 15 and 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Yeah, so you don't get to choose if you get, like, I choose to follow Jesus. Like that, uh, like that guy said, he, he was talking to earlier. He said, he was, he's like, well, that's not going to make me want to become a Christian. That's like you don't you don't get to choose shit. <laughs> you either is or you ain't. Their own free will. And he's like, well, I ain't. <laughs> yeah, like there's some kind of choice you can make or something. Like there's a choice to be made. And there's a fucking clown. He needs to be in the circus. Yeah. Like, that, <laughs> you is or you ain't. <laughs> that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you that ye love one another. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So uh, yeah, love one another. That means you're supposed to be teaching them the scripture. Because if you love your brother, your mother, your sister, your friend, that means you're gonna hit them with scripture. That means if they doing something wicked, you're gonna be like, you wicked motherfucker. That's love, that's love. Love, love ain't turning a blind eye to uh, someone being a faggot, or someone committing adultery. That's not love. Love is correcting a motherfucker. That's love. The law, the, the Bible is love. That's love. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Yeah, so fuck this world. I, the world hates us and we hate the world. People hate us, we hate you even more. Okay, if you hate us, well, fuck you. We hate you a billion times worse. Dudes over there getting the scriptures when we read them. Yeah, fuck this world. This world ain't got shit. They ain't got shit for none of us. Going back to John. These hoes, they love the world. John 6 and 46. Yeah, they love the world. Yeah, they worldly as fuck. And the world loves them too. Yeah. yeah, people got no sense of spirituality to them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nothing spiritual about them. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, this is just a bunch of spiritually dead pieces of shit. That's all you got. 7, 6, and 46. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is the Most High, he has seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I understand whoever believes on the Son of, the Son of God, Yahweh Shad, will have everlasting life. It didn't say he that believe on Muhammad. I believe on some goddamn Quran. You fucking Buddha. It, yeah, it didn't say he said believe on a Buddha. Or he didn't believe in goddamn Thomas Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? It ain't say that. The Bible said he that believes on your house is shot. A 
Okay, that's the son of God. Yeah. 